the Week Zero Appointment Viewing Guide for the College Football Week Zero. I'm uh, I'm pumped about this. Now, created this, uh, just a simple Google Sheet, whatever. And we are going to start off with the must-see games. All right? Uh, the ones that, if you are a diehard, if you are uh, a sicko, as they would call it, I would recommend watching these games. Nebraska against Northwestern on Fox. It's at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, that one, it goes head-to-head with CBS Sports Network, Austin P. at Western Michigan. Uh, excuse me, Western Kentucky. But uh, Nebraska and Northwestern, I think this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Of course, it is a huge year for Scott Frost and that bunch, but also for uh, Pat Fitzgerald and the Wildcats. Now, I'm going to talk more about this game here in just a little bit, but uh, big game. Big, big game. I think uh, it's going to be fun to watch. Entertaining to see what these teams look like because both of them went 3-9 and nine last year. Eh, not great. Uh, as far as the afternoon games, you know, this is when you might want to get some stuff done. Maybe. Uh, but we we shall see on that. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's pause. All right. Let's get this thing back on the rails here. Wyoming at Illinois starts at 4 p.m. Eastern time. This one is on the Big Ten Network. Here is what I see about this game. I don't know that you are going to get your best effort out of Illinois. They play at Indiana, which is a Big Ten conference opponent next week. That is obviously the bigger game. Wyoming should be completely outmatched in this game. Would it surprise me if Wyoming stays within the spread? Absolutely not. Uh, but other than that, you know, you've got UConn and Utah State. That should be an absolute bludgeoning. But again, Utah State plays Alabama next week. Are they going to go vanilla against UConn knowing that they can just get the win? Like, what are you actually going to see here? Florida State and Duquesne also comes on. I think that one's a 4.30 or 5 o'clock kick uh, on ACC Network. Eh, you know, whatever. Like, it, it, Florida State should... Absolutely destroy them. As far as the other must-see games, I've got two of them, and they are both Conference USA games. Charlotte at FAU is an incredibly interesting game. This was 38-9 to FAU last year, and it was at Charlotte. Uh, but it gets a little tricky, right? Uh, there were some missed opportunities for Charlotte, uh, and eventually, FAU just took over and steamrolled them in the second half. But it was 9-7, to seven, Charlotte, at the half. Now, FAU got some interceptions, uh, took advantage of like some missed fourth downs, etc. There were big plays that were handled by FAU. As far as talent goes, FAU should demolish them. But, eh, Willie Taggart against Will Healy? Like, I like Will Healy. I like what he's doing. And there's a lot of coaching change over at FAU. Also, must watch, and this may be the best game of the night, if you can find stadium, okay? North Texas at UTEP, sold out Sun Bowl Stadium. I am pumped about this one. I'm so excited to watch the Miners against the North Texas Mean Green for a multitude of reasons, right? Dana DeMell against Seth Luttrell. Uh, this is, these are two teams that shouldn't like each other, but, uh, but it's a pretty far drive from Dallas to El Paso. Uh, Dallas, Denton. How about this? Denton, Texas, which is where North Texas is. Uh, and I've made that drive, and it is a brutal stretch. It's a little over eight hours. I mean, it's rough, really, really rough. But, man, UTEP fans are excited about this one. I mean, they are going to have that place sold out, sold out for a conference game. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And that one is, of course, at 9 p.m., Eastern Time. Uh, Vanderbilt at Hawaii is the 10.30 Eastern Time kick on CBS Sports Network. I don't know. What, like, Hawaii is a small football team. I don't know how much actual FBS talent there is on that roster. Timmy Chain coming in, a lot of coaching turnover there. They had a bunch of guys transfer out because of the Todd Graham stuff, etc. That one's going to get nasty. Um, and then Florida a and I say nasty. It may not. I mean, it just Vanderbilt isn't that good either. But I think Vanderbilt's a lot better than in Hawaii, for sure. Uh, then you've also got uh, Florida A&M at North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina should should smoke them, absolutely. And on ESPN2, uh, 10 p.m., uh, yeah, 10 p.m. kick, Eastern Time, Nevada at New Mexico State. Yuck. I mean, just a gross game. Gross, gross, gross. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you're going to learn about either one of those teams. They're both really bad. It's uh, Jerry Kills. Uh, debut, and it's Ken Wilson's debut. I don't know. We'll see. 
We'll see. Uh, but I don't think that's uh, worth watching. It, it, if you can get to North Texas and UTEP, that's going to be the game to watch. And if you decide to turn that one off, you can always switch over to Vanderbilt and Hawaii on CBS Sports Network. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.